I felt like in the spirit I had an unction from the Lord and he said um, and I felt like it was from our father and he said father doesn't walk in time as you know it he gives giftings to his children time has nothing to do with that age has nothing to do with that and and as I was meditating on that I was thinking okay there's some people and there may be some people here that maybe you think <clears throat> God is talking to me but I'm too young and that's a good excuse people or I'm too old and that's a, that's a good excuse also but when God gives us giftings he uses the Holy Spirit to give us giftings. And when he does, he gives you the giftings. You just provide the body. He will give you the words to speak. He will give you the unction. And you speak what he gives to you. And if he's called you, don't let anything stand in your way because he will provide everything that you need to walk in those giftings. So if he's dealing with someone here and you're thinking, well, I'm too young to do that, or I'm too old to do that, or I'm just too busy to do that, God will provide. If he's giving you a gifting, stand up and take it. Stand up and take it. He will provide the rest of it. Um, he has no, time has no relevance to what, God is doing okay he, it, time doesn't enter into it your age doesn't enter into it so no longer use that for an excuse if God is calling you don't say well I've let it I've let it pass me by no no you haven't when we were born again we instantly were in God's kingdom when you gave your life to Jesus, you instantly went into that kingdom. It wasn't like, oh, God, well, we'll just have to have a committee here and see if you deserve being there. No. <clears throat> instantly, you were accepted into the kingdom of God. That's right. We belong to God. We belong to God's kingdom. We belong in God. We belong in Jesus Christ many many uh, scriptures tell us that in him what we are we belong in his kingdom now we are in his kingdom now if you are believers if you've asked God to, if you've asked Jesus to be uh, the Savior for you he is and that's how God sees us we're, we're trying to function on this earth like we belong here and of course we do we have our schedules. We have the things that we have to be on time for. But we are no longer citizens of this world. We're from God's world. It's natural to him. And it should be natural to us. That's right. A born again man defeated Satan. And the believer is the very image of that man. Jesus Christ defeated Satan. And he was a born again man. God is not bound by time as we know it on this earth. Time as we know it is not in the heavenly realm at all. We try to live this life and we have to by what we see, feel, touch, and what we know in our minds that we've learned at school but we need to move on. We need to move on into the realm of as God sees us. Look through the eyes of God. He sees you in that way. Learn to look at yourself the way God sees you. The scriptures in the Bible will tell you how God sees you. That's truth. That's truth. That's the real truth. That's who you are. That's what you are. The way that God has said it, the way that he has decreed it, there is nothing any more powerful than God's word. 
And when he decrees something, it's done. It's finished. You are a child of God if you are a, a Christian. If you're not, ask him into your life today. Don't let it go by. You are all the things that he calls you to, uh, that he has said that you are in his scriptures, in his words. Remember that. Meditate on that. Who you are and what you are because the truth is you are as God sees you That's right. I want to ask you all to just stand and let's give praise and honor to our Heavenly Father to our precious Holy Savior Jesus Christ as we go into praise and worship I want you to just block out mentally block out the person on your right and to your left and just go in and take these few minutes out of this day take these few minutes to just simply talk to our Lord talk to Him talk to Him praise Him, honor Him Heavenly Father we come to you this morning Father God we want to lift you up and we want to glorify you Father God, help us to see who we really and truly are, Father God, through your eyes. Help us to look through your eyes and see who we are. To see the world around us, Father God, through your eyes, not as man sees it, Father, but as you see us. As you take us through, as you take us through the trials, the trials of this world that you're always holding us. You're always right there with us. And no matter what, no matter what, you won't leave us. You'll never leave us, nor forsake us. Your word tells us that. Father God, we want to lift you up in praises. Father, I ask for a special anointing upon this church, Father God, upon this church body. Father God, help us, Father, to feel your holy presence this morning. I pray that the Holy Spirit will just pour out an anointing upon this church body, Father God, that they will feel your holy presence, that they will know that you are here with them, Father God, that they will feel this presence, and Father God, that they will commune with you the things that you have called them to and the things that they have been trying to talk to you about. Release it. Release it. My people, release it. I feel him calling out, just release it. Release it, whatever it is. Whatever it is that's holding you back. Whatever it is that you've been praying about. Release it and let it go. And let our Father take care of it. Heavenly Father, we give you praise in the name of our precious and holy Savior, Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit, I ask for a special anointing upon our speaker this morning, Father God, upon our pastor, and Father God, upon Marcia as, as our song leader, and Father God, upon all of our singers, Father God. Father God, once again, I pray, I pray for an anointing to be passed out upon our people here today, Father God, that they will feel your holy presence and be able to communicate with you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, amen. Surely you 
endless us.
mountains are still being moved. The valleys are still being loosed. Strongholds. God, we believe. Because yes, we can see it. The God used. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the bodies are still being raised. The giants are still being slain. See the wonders are still what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you, Lord. Come and do what you do. We said our
to move because we recognize your spirit in this place, Lord. It's not a move because we've done anything special. We just recognize you, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Just do what you do, Father. Church, uh, probably may have been 10 years ago down at church camp at Rock Garden, Pastor Rick spoke a message. I don't remember a lot about it, but I remember him talking about how the Spirit of God will move. See, we're called followers of Christ. Followers. So his Spirit's leading, and we're what? We're following, we're moving. Remember, we're talking about the song, I Can Only Imagine. And now the first few times he heard that, or maybe the first six months of that, that the Spirit of God would minister to him in that song. I can only imagine. And then as time went on, he said he would hear the song and it wouldn't, he wouldn't even remember it till it was over, like I just heard that song. See, the Spirit of God had moved for him out of that song into something else. Some of you right now are maybe in a dry season. You're in a dry season, you keep looking in the same places, but the Spirit of God's moved. Well, you know, what you need to do is, is follow after him. That's right. that's you need to follow after him. Listen, I don't know who that's for or, or listen or what it's about, but see, the Spirit of God's going to move and he's going to minister to you in, in a different spot or a different time or through a different way. Jesus said this when he was after the resurrection, he was getting ready to depart, and he, he told them, he said, I'm sending you a helper. I'm sending you a helper. And see, that same Spirit's here today to help you. Not only is He here to help you, He knows exactly what you need. You need a healer? He's a healer. You need provision? He's a provider. You need a friend? The Word says He'll walk closer than a brother. It says He's Emmanuel. That's not a Christmas term. That's a right now term. He's God with us. That's right. That's right. He's with us. You need strength. The Word of God says He's your eternal encouragement. Church life can be tough. And I'll never, I'll, as long as I have the ability to think and reason on my own, I'll never forget what Emma said one morning up here after church camp, Emma. And by the way, I want to brag on Emma. Just I think about what a turd I was when I was her age. <laughs> and how, you know, I'm a, kind of a grown man now, whatever that means. And I'll, they send these text messages out and they'll say, you know, this song, you know, Emma's going to lead that song. Never an inkling in my mind thinks that, well, we better get somebody back up in case she doesn't show. Right? right? right. Never. Do you, do you guys have that thought? There's something to be said about just being someone that somebody can count on. Let me tell you something, church. There's people counting on you. And all you got to do to help or be a part of or do something is show up. And then let God do the rest. Just show up. Too many people are sitting on the sideline when God's saying, get in the game. Yeah, Amen. But Emma said these words. I don't know who said it, but Emma said it. So I'm going to give you the credit. She said that whoever was speaking said that get, being a Christian doesn't get easier. You just get tougher. Toughen up, church. You're going to stand for something. Lord, the country song says you're going to fall for everything. That was a good word that morning. You think you did a bad job that morning, but you didn't. She did an awesome job that morning. Church, if God was done with you, you'd be with him. Ushers, as you come, Lord, we thank you, Father God, Lord, that of everything, Lord, that happens in life, Lord, we can stand strong on the truths of your word, Lord. Lord, that they don't change with circumstance, they don't change with situations, they don't change with different political views or different social views, Father God, that right is right and wrong is wrong, and you determined that long ago. God, I thank you, Lord, that the gray area of man can be wiped clean by the blood of Jesus, Lord, that we're either right or we're wrong. We're either going to heaven or we're going to hell. There's no gray area. 
Lord, that we're not teetering on the fence with you. We're in one of two spots. Lord, your word says that, that Jesus died intending that all could go to heaven. It's not just for some. However, Lord, you did say that narrow is the road and narrow is the gate that leads to life and only a few find it. Church, be one of the few. Uh, yeah. Be one of the few. God, I pray that these dollars and cents, Lord, would go to lift up your kingdom and glorify your name, Father God, and strengthen the believers, the followers of Jesus Christ. Strengthen them. Encourage them. Lord, we love you this morning, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. When darkness tries to roll over my bones When sorrow comes to steal the joy I own when brokenness and pain is all I know, oh, I won't be shaken. No, I won't be shaken. Cause my fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand in your love. My fear doesn't stand a chance when I stand.
doesn't stand a chance when I'm standing in your love. My feet doesn't stand a chance when I'm standing in your love. Oh, when I'm standing on the rock. don't miss we currently are working on new dental plans so uh, David yes oh, Emma. We need to huh? Emma. <laughs> oh we're gonna say bye to Emma yes. we're not letting her go I, I vetoed that I don't know if you got the note or you did not get that note on that deal right there so go ahead I think you're up here yeah, she up here? here yeah you're up here I just think about uh, the scripture that says, if you'll be faithful in the little things, that he will make you That's a right. ruler over much. And That's right. Um, God has given you a desire and uh, to, to be a minister, and we see that developing here. We see it every Sunday, and we get the privilege Blessed to, to, to sit under that ministry. Uh, but God is, is calling you. Uh, to Kansas City. Can you believe it? This girl is going to Kansas City to International House of Prayer, IHOP. Yeah, give it up for IHOP, yeah. Yeah. If you're not familiar with it, check it out on YouTube. They have some wonderful seasons of, of prayer and of time, uh, times of worship. So I want to know, I want you to know how thankful I am to you yeah. and how thankful I am to God for placing a song in your heart and you're not afraid. Yeah. I know there are times that you're afraid, but you, you go ahead and you plow on through that. That's right. And so I thank you for your boldness, your yeah. courage, and your faithfulness right. to God and to this church. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Can you give her a hand clap? That's Let's right. thank her. Thank you. All right, put your hand up this way. Oh, we ain't done. We're going to speak blessing over you, girl. <laughs> Amen. We're going to speak blessing over all those things that Marcia said, ditto, and more. So just put your hand this way. She's going to school. She's going to take some, some, just some specialized training in ministry, and, and we're excited for that. You have a, you've been growing. You've got another great growth period in front of you, right? And so, uh, and like Marcia said, sometimes, uh, you know, fear may try to come in and like that. Here's what I've learned about courage. Courage, a lot of times, just doing it afraid. Okay, it's okay. Just go ahead and do it anyway. It don't, don't have to be awesome, okay? So just do it. Let's put your hand up this way, and let's pray over him. Father God, thank you. For all that she has meant to this church for years and years since she was a tiny little girl, Lord God, we have watched her grow. She has been ours for all these years. And Lord God, you have developed and you have called ministry into her life. You have sown it within the fabric of her soul. And so we thank you, Lord God, that we have got to be a part of that. And so with love and with blessing and with backing in prayer, Lord God, we send her forth Lord God, into your kingdom and into your call. And we thank you, Lord, for what IHOP has to do in this, Lord God, this next phase, this, um, this next stage in her life, in her gift development, Lord God. Thank you for the gift that she has been to this church, to this community, and to that church that she's going to, Lord God. And, and Lord, on those times when she gets to return, Lord God, it's with open arms and hearts that we receive her back our daughter back home to minister and be with us. We love her. We send her with that love and with prayers in Jesus' name. Everybody agreed? Said amen. 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 I got to be honest with you. When they said you were going to IHOP, I thought, how cool, man. International House of Pancakes. Then I found out it was something. Bummed me out for just a minute, man. I thought, I'm going to go and visit her every week. Ah, wow.